Hey Mermiko team, today we're diving into the fascinating world of one of the most impressive and formidable ant species out there, Rikophila longinoda, also known as the African weaver ant. If you're looking for a spectacular and highly organized species with incredible efficiency, you're in the right place, but be warned, these ants are not for beginners. They live in tropical trees across Africa and build their nests in a unique way by weaving leaves together using silk produced by their larvae. It's an architectural masterpiece, and their colonies can grow to over 100,000 individuals with thousands of queens working together. This polygynous structure allows them to expand rapidly and dominate their territory completely. They are extremely aggressive, biting fiercely and spraying formic acid, making them formidable predators capable of eliminating a vast number of insects. They also have excellent vision and are highly sensitive to vibrations and light changes, giving them an incredible advantage when detecting threats or hunting prey. When it comes to food, they are opportunistic, feeding mainly on insects, but also farming scale insects for their honeydew. They even regulate the size of their livestock based on the colony's needs, which is a fascinating display of collective intelligence. Their development cycle is fast, taking about a month from egg to worker, and since they are homodynamic, they remain active year-round without a diapos. Swarming occurs during rainy seasons, but what's really surprising is that many fertilized queens return to their home colony, strengthening it even further. For founding, the queen is independent and starts alone, using the silk from her first larvae to weave her initial shelter. In captivity, raising them is a real challenge and requires precise conditions. The temperature must be kept between 22 and 27 degrees Celsius, with humidity between 50 and 80 percent, as they are highly sensitive to fluctuations and any mistake can be fatal. The setup must include a natural structure, ideally a live tree like a ficus, or a well-prepared paludarium with surfaces suitable for nest weaving. Keeping them in a traditional nest is impossible. They need an open environment with effective escape prevention because they are expert climbers and can quickly take over an entire room. In terms of food, they require a high intake of insects, pseudo-honeydew and sugary gels to sustain their energy levels and their scale insect farms. Founding a colony in captivity is incredibly difficult. The queen must first be kept in a tube with a water reserve before being transferred to a larger one and eventually introduced into a natural setup. It's crucial to limit observation to avoid stressing her and most importantly, not to feed her too early as this could disrupt her development cycle. Once the colony is established, Growth is extremely rapid and requires meticulous environmental control. To sum up, Oecophila longinoda is a fascinating and incredibly well-organized species, but its care is challenging and leaves no room for error. Poor temperature or humidity management, an unsuitable setup, or a containment failure can lead to complete disaster. However, if you're up for the challenge and can provide the right conditions, you'll witness one of the most dynamic and impressive ant colonies in the world. So would you be tempted to try raising this species or does it seem a bit too extreme for you? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing ant content.